Now let us come back and do your sixth, uh, seventh, and eighth yeah, examples. Yes, we have done all these one, two, three, four, five. Now I'll be doing this specifically. Why have, why have I picked up this specifically? Be, because first important thing is when they give you a certain example, right? In the exam, so they will ask you draw the optical isomers of this, and they will also question you: Is there any geometrical isomer uh, possible for this? So geometrical isomer, we said cis and trans isomers are geometrical isomers. So optical are mirror images. So to be very careful in drawing them. If you are like uh, just see first try to make the cis isomer mirror image then come back to trans. So I will be drawing the trans also for this let us see. So in this complex when I have to draw the cis isomer and trans start here. Now first count whether the coordination number is 4 or it is a 6 because 6 because square planar or tetrahedral coordination number 4 will rarely show uh, optical activity tetra octahedral 6 compulsory will show optical activity so here ethylene diamine 2 plus 2 4 i already explained in last video ethylene diamine has two donor sites two ethylene diamines will have four donor sites so 4 plus 2 plus 4 6 is a coordination number done let's start so co 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so i am drawing a mirror image of this CO 1 2 3 4 5 6 done so <clears throat> this is so first start from here this is CL 1 yeah because I have to glow in clockwise direction CL then link with this EN link with this EN which isomer is this these two are together on the same side cis isomer for the cis isomer I am drawing the mirror image start now I have to go in this direction anti-clockwise CL this is similar to this these this is similar to this and the EN is forming so these two are mirror images of each other now I have to draw the trans isomer of this take this draw the trans how to draw CO 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Trans is nothing but opposite side, isn't it? So, see that your E and E and E and they will come and the position is in the opposite direction. See here, both are opposite. CL is also opposite. So, this is a trans isomer. So, what did I do? I drew the optical isomers. I also drew the geometrical isomers. So, this is how you are going to draw both. Let us come back and see. In optical isomerism for this, I have to draw first CO count the number of coordination number this is 4 because 2 as I said earlier so 4 plus 1 plus 1 so total 6 is a coordination number so the structure which I can draw is octahedral 1 2 3 4 5 6 just make one line this way CO 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is your cis isomer always and the mirror image of that so start from here this is nh3 start in clockwise direction first nh3 then come down cl then en are two one en is linked here the other en is linked here over so this is a cis isomer draw the mirror image of this start with ammonia now you rotate it it should rotate towards this direction levo rotatory so start from here ammonia is here then cl opposite to this mirror of that en is here draw that link en on the other side en ethylene diamine and this this is a cis isomers and mirror image now if i have to draw trans isomer of this copy the same co 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes for trans these two should be on the opposite side en is here en is here and you're left with ammonia above cl below so this is a trans isomer because the groups are opposite to each other let's come back and see this here i am going to take cn let us see the coordination number 2 plus 2 4 5 6 it's a 2 plus 2 plus 2 because for one ethylene diamine two sides total is six coordination number i can make octahedral take this one two three four five six octahedral draw the mirror image of this co one two three four five six so i have to make first cis isomer because I, they've asked me to do both geometrical and optical so start this is your ammonia how many ammonias two nh3 nh3 this is your CL. This is your CL. Okay, I'll write this is down. Yes. 
sorry uh, yeah and en and en so cis isomer which rotation is this it is rotating in this direction so it is dextro rotatory dextro now draw the isomer of this mirror image now you are going to start with levo levo in this direction everywhere it is the same dextro levo dextro levo start rotating first draw ammonia the image of this will come here next the image of this is here the image of this is here and the leftover en now i have to draw the trans structure of this you have to be careful now now in the trans structure observe carefully now what happened you have nh3 here two cls so cis isomer only now in trans simple you pick up co co make six bonds one group you can pick up not a problem so i'm picking up chlorine so on opposite direction cl and cl look here opposite chlorine is opposite so it's a transform the left over you can make cl so cl is over nh3 nh3 and en is here don't uh, no problem don't worry ma'am this uh, ammonia is uh, same side no map cis no here's one group you're considering and that group that rotation shows that it has taken a transform both are opposite so this is a trans isomer this is how you're going to write cis isomer optical isomer as well as trans isomer so we are done with six seven eight let us come back and do the last one